At Tompkins Mayo Pack Bank, we make mobile banking easier and better so you can embrace everything that life sends your way. Because you can't live your life by phone, but you can use it to make your life better. Tompkins Mayo Pack Bank. Cleveland may have its Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Bethel Woods may have its Woodstock Spawned Museum. But you don't have to travel past the Falcon Underground in Marlboro to glimpse a first-rate history in the form of Ned Moran's Avalon Archives and Museum of Roots Rock and Roll Memorabilia. The collection was first seen in public on the walls of Uncle Willie's on Broadway, a nightclub in Kingston. This is going back 30 years. It's the band's gold record for Rock of Ages, their live album that was recorded in Manhattan at the Academy of Music. That's John Lennon with the Beatles at the Cow Palace in San Francisco in 65. And that black leather jacket and those little Converse sneakers belonged to my daughter when she was 10 and 11. And she wore that to a Bob Dylan concert I took her to at Madison Square Garden around 2000. I always had a love for music, and when I was a kid, I would collect 78s, and then I got into 45s. And then albums started to come into my collection, I guess in the late 50s. That's a painting by Richard Frigetta, and all of the posters on the wall were originals from San Francisco back in the Haight-Ashbury days, Summer of Love, 67. I was a fireman in Manhattan for 20 years and uh, still was always involved in music. That's Muddy Waters in 1959. I got these Beatle coat hangers in a yard sale years ago for a buck fifty, and then I saw them in Colony Records in Times Square about 10 years ago, and they were $1,200. So now they must be worth $12,000. Elvis, by a fellow named Michael D'Antorno, who is a wonderful artist that lives in Beacon, and that's signed by four of the original members. Bowie, Iggy, and Lou Reed at the Dorchester Hotel in 1972. That was Hendrix, that was Chuck Berry, that was uh, Allman Brothers, Janis Joplin, all kinds of great people. And this concert took place two months before Woodstock. Everything is under 12 bucks and this is where the beer garden is. Janice at the Newport Folk Festival in 68. Johnny Winter and right below him is a, a little shadow box to Muddy. To the left of that is Buddy Guy. To the right of that is Shamika Copeland. And Patty was reading at Amnesty International at Carnegie Hall after having been introduced by Lauren Bacall. That's Keith Richards, 1965. I knew Richie Havens before he made a record in Greenwich Village, and I've been a good friend of John Hammond since his first album. Well, that's Tony Falco's grandfather, and Tony's father was a musician. My interest was always to share this collection with everyone, and it seems to be doing wonderful at the Falcon. There's music six nights a week, and the people that see the exhibit love it. It works for Tony and myself. We've moved the museum into the Falcon, so this is a permanent spot. And from time to time, we'll be changing exhibits. We also have some space upstairs on the main floor, in the bar and in the foyer. And presently, we have four exhibits out on the road. But this is the home. This is the home, and it's going to get better, and. Uh, as soon as we get some more wall space, okay? <laughs> Reporting from Marlboro, Jay Berkey for HVNN.com.